Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode here on the Lincoln Williams Show. Today I wanted to talk about my year in review. Um, a lot of you know about my year in 2023. Uh, it was so this year was let's just face it this year was all about marriage and trying to get used to to marriage and stuff like that but i wanted to talk about my full year and experience uh with you guys um so not really as a gamer but my overall life uh, my overall life uh, year in review and life experiences so in 2023 so i wanted to talk about this year and um so yeah um so at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year it was my birthday it was my birthday month so January was my birthday month. Uh, I was it was sort of a little bit intense because there's a lot happening uh, going on that day on my birth on that day on my birthday um, because January yeah January 29th was I mean it was a good it was a good day. Um, so my birthday was, was good. Uh, we did, I participated within the Toby's float, uh, on my, on my birthday. Um, it was a lot of fun, uh, because it was, it was a snow white themed float. And, uh, my, my, uh, girlfriend, my girlfriend at the time, Amelia, my fiance Amelia was the queen and I was uh the huntsman and that was a really that was a lot of fun um so that was that was a lot of fun so february uh happened and an unexpected thing happened in february my cat passed away my cat bilbo my cat bilbo baggins my cat bilbo baggins um bilbo um passed away and that was really really hard that was really really hard for me because i really do enjoy cats like they're my children uh i really do enjoy cats like they're like they're like my fur babies and stuff like that. Um, so that was really, really hard. Um, that was really, really hard for me when my cat Bilbo Baggins, you know, died um, like last year in 2023 in February. So that was that was sad. I had to get help from the church to overcome my depression and my sadness levels for for my cat and um later after you pay after he had passed for a week um after a week my mom uh found another cat um and this cat was like he was he was so good. I mean, he was he was so good. His name is Julius, and we name him Julius Caesar uh, from the from the Bible. Um, so we name him Julius Caesar or history books. Um, so we named this cat Julius, and he looks, judging by his winter fur fur coat, he looks like my previous cat named Jojo Speedbump. So that was really, really good that I found a cat that looked like my second cat. Not my third cat, 
But my second cat, and this is my fourth cat ever, ever, uh, rele ever released, um, into, into my house, into my life. So I, this is like my fourth cat. Um, so yeah, so he's really, really sweet and he's really, really sweet. And I hope you guys get to meet him. Uh, he's a really sweet, he's a really, really sweet cat. And, uh, I hope Amelia plays a lot more with him and I hope she pets him a little bit more. That's what I would like to see a little bit more, uh, through the coming years. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, anyways, um, yeah, so Julius was, got accepted into our family, uh, Julius Caesar, my cat, got accepted into our family in February, in March was, um, March was, was good, um, it was a good month. April, I had to house sit, uh, this one time with my, with my fiance, I had to house sit in April and that was, that was, um, yeah, it was, it was basically, it was a little hard because I had to go to work and I had to take care of the cat. Um, I had to take care of the, care of the cat on my own. Um, but it was a little bit hard because he was always like in playful mode. He wanted to play with your legs and your fingers and your hands and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, I sort of locked him in his, locked him in his room, but I fed him anyway. But, you know, I was still trying to get used to this cat and he was still in playful mode when he was a kitten, like a six month old kitten. Um, so I decided to do that. And in May, things, things start to pump up with the wedding. Um, in May, I mean, I'm starting to get ready for this big wedding in May. And um, me and, so me and Chris and Amelia, well, I do two separate watching sessions with the Super Mario Brothers movie, and that was a really great movie when that came out. Um, that was a really great movie when that came out, and I, I basically loved it. I basically loved it. It was one of my favorite movies of the year. Um, Indiana Jones was a good one too, but Super Mario Brothers movie was was. Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie was one of the biggest movies that I ever watched. Uh, so yeah, that was that was good. Um, so that happened in May, um, and then so I've been, as you many of you may know, I've been I was talking about the wedding at work. I was talking about the, at the wedding at work, like all day, like every day, pretty much. I was excited for it. And then in June, the wedding, the wedding happens and it's like a day, it's like a day passes and you don't even realize, and you don't even realize it, that it passed. Um, so it kind of went fast to be quite honest i it was it was fast it was beautiful it was my wife looked so gorgeous on that day she looked so gorgeous she looked like you know princess peach and all that stuff and um from uh the Mario brothers movie and it was it was one of the best it was one of the happiest days of my life of like 2023. Um, I dressed up like, I dressed up like James Bond. Uh, I dressed up like James Bond, but I didn't get my hair like this. Um, I could have done that, but 
you know, I could have done that. I could have gone to the barber shop and get the, gotten that done. But yeah, I had to do so many preparations with the wedding. I had to do so many preparations um, in my head on what it was what it was doing, the money, the preparations, and things like that. And so, and then, yeah, after the wedding, uh, yeah, after the wedding was all over, it was, it was time to head, head to my honeymoon spot for at least a day and a half, uh, at least a day and a half, and then we move into the apartment and then everything just turned into everything just turned into adult life for me. Everything just turned into adult life, but in a good way. Um, yeah. And it just, it hits you like a nuclear bomb, even though you don't really even realize it when you're married. It's like, Oh, I'm married now. I have, I have a sink to manage. I have a bathroom to manage. I have a wife to manage. I have all these things that I got to manage and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, and it's, it's, uh, it's really just, it really was just, it was kind of a stressful experience for me at first. But as the months and days went on, I started to catch on things Um, because I started to learn how to pay bills every month. I started to love on my wife a little bit more. I started paying attention to her to her shows a lot more to her shows, not my shows, because her show, my shows are a lot different. So. I just wanted to talk about the giving up portion on some things when you're going into a marriage relationship. When your wife is not used to action shows or PG-13, PG-14 TV shows, then you just try to find something that you can both watch. It's not all about you anymore. It's about both of you and all that stuff. And I had to give up watching Star Trek. I had to give up watching action shows, action movies, and things like that. Um, And um, so, but some movies I still watch with my wife, but not all of them. But anyway, um, yeah. Yeah. I had to give up, uh, I had to get up, up a bunch of, like, I have a, I had to give up my, like, rated M game, I had to give up my rated M games in, in our living room, I had to give them up, so, I do them in a private space now, um, still in the game room, and still in the off, here in the office, but I don't play rated M games in the, uh, in the, um, you know, in the living room in our, in our living room anymore. I don't do that in our apartment anymore because some of these games can get really like, they can get violent and all that stuff. And she just doesn't like guns and she doesn't like violence and she doesn't like, you know, creepy spiders from, you know, Skyrim and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, I had to give up uh, rated M games in. I had to give up rated M games in. You know, I mean, it's good. You know, I mean, it's good that they're pretty much always gone. As soon as I enter the room, as soon as I enter the the apartment, as soon as I enter uh, the one section, not my office, but. As soon as I enter that one section of the apartment, um, the rated M games are just gone because of the atmosphere that my wife presents, like, you know, and like flowers, chocolates, and, you know, wonderful, wonderful food. 
and I still have to, I still have to learn how to love my wife's cooking and all that stuff. I still had to learn, I still have to learn how to do that. Um, because I like eating out sometimes, but not all the time. And so, and I learn and need, and I also need to learn how to, you know, stick with her when it comes to dinners and stuff like that. But I've done it like, maybe like so many times now, um, like eating with her and stuff like that. But sometimes I like to eat alone and all that stuff. And, uh, dishes, cleaning the dishes, it's doing the dishes. That one is a little bit tough, uh, because I never done dishes before at my parents. We always stuck our dishes in the dishwasher and that's it. Well, when your apartment doesn't have a dishwasher, then it gets a little bit tough. So you have to do everything by hand. Um, so... Anyways, yeah, so, yeah, and then paying the bills and stuff like that and doing the interviews with, you know, Social Security and Social Security income and stuff like that, SSI, um, so we had to figure that all out, that out, um, so, yeah, and talking to my psych doc, psych doc um, because there was a rare, a rare incident that happened in 2016, talking to my psych doc. And, um, so yeah, I mean, life in the apartment is much different than back home. So it's much, it's a much different experience. Uh, I had, I think I had hormones the first night, like the very first night of marriage. I had like, you know, hormones like, you know. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, I was, I was really lovey-dovey towards my, and towards my wife. Um, uh, the very first night, it just felt a little bit. It just felt a little bit weird. It's like, oh, uh, there's a girl right next to me in in bed. So, <laughs> yeah, it just felt, it just felt a little bit, you know, felt a little bit weird. But now I'm used to it. Now I'm used to, you know, and now I'm used to sleeping with a woman. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's uh, it's. But it's good. It's a good. It's it's good. I had a, I had a couple of uh, night terrors. Um, I had a couple of night terrors through the year. Um, I didn't know what was really going on. I didn't know what was really going on in my dreams. I all of a sudden I just, I wake up with, you know, night terrors, and shaking problems, and you know my wife is is always looking out for me and um and then yeah so thanksgiving was good uh christmas was good halloween was halloween was good and um yeah work work was work was good um so yeah um Anyways, anyways, YouTubers, um, yeah, my wife is walking to the door, um, so I think she's walking in the apartment right now, um, but yeah, I mean, this year was, was good in overall, in overall context of review, uh, in this review, um, so yeah, this year was all about this year was all this year was all about marriage for me and being prepared. Hey, hey honey. Sorry. Um yeah, so this year was all about marriage and trying to get used to marriage and all that stuff. So that was the overall dilemma of the of the year 
trying to get used to that and this new lifestyle. So, yeah, uh, the new Zelda came out. Uh, if you ever played that or beat that. So that was an exciting year for Zelda and all that stuff. So, uh, and the Mario Brothers movie. So that was one uh, that was one of the best things about this year. And um and the Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. So that was that was good. And at the end of the year to ki- to kick off 2024, the end of the year, I got my very first VR headset. And I got a gaming laptop. But the gaming laptop kind of backfired because I can't play modern games on it as much it just doesn't have enough airflow running through the laptop and that's why a desktop is a lot better so that was my mistake that was like my 669 dollar mistake and it's like oh crap so anyways um yeah so anyways um uh so now i probably gotta have to buy like a new console maybe this year just to fix some of my, you know, gaming issues with my area and stuff like that. And, um, so yeah, this year was all about marriage and living in an apartment and living on my own and living on on my own with my gal and managing park place here in McCall, Idaho and all that stuff, and um, and managing my work, and getting my new schedule figured out with them, and all that stuff. So, yeah, this was this was an, a this was an exciting year, and uh, you know, uh, and the best present, and the best present this Christmas was probably probably my wife. we yeah, she's. She's so good. My wife is so good. She's a wonderful cook. She's beautiful. She's kind. She's sweet. And she's wonderful with kids. Um, loves G- loves Jesus. And, um, and she's really good about taking care of my feet. And last night was a really good, really good uh, experience for uh, my feet because I was getting a pedicure by my wife and uh, that was that was really really good because I really need it because I really work hard for us I really work hard for us um so yeah so anyways uh youtubers yeah that this sort of wraps it up and oh uh how was uh, the four specials of Doctor Who. They were good, but they could have been better. They were good, but they could have been better. That's all I gotta say. So go watch. So go watch um, the four specials. Sorry, that was my phone going off. And I got a new phone, and my wife got a new phone, and stuff like that. And um, so yeah, um. Yeah, that was a uh, this so this has been a review of 2023 and um what would I give it? I think I would give this year probably probably a 7 out of 10 cuz 7 out of 10 was cuz the reason why I give it a 7 was the marriage aspect and getting used to that. And stuff like that. And three points down because of the gaming aspect. It just didn't really appeal to me at all this year. Um, but, you know, anyways. My wife was my wife was more appealing than uh, vi- video games and spending more time with her and her cooking and stuff like that. And getting used to her cooking and, um, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, so uh, this year was a 7 out of 10 and all that stuff. So, and uh, getting used to our daily schedules and all that stuff. And um, so, yeah. 
Uh, all right, YouTubers. Um, that that about does it for this review. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that does it about for this year in review. Um, seven out of ten. It was. I mean, it was a good year, but you know, still. There's some things to be worked on and stuff like that in 2024. Uh, I still got to get a new, still got to get a new console for my, for my space and all that stuff. I got a VR headset, but I don't have the consoles right just yet because my PC's having problems running Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, anyways, YouTubers. Have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll see you guys all later in the next Lincoln and William Show episode. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys all later, and I'll be back someday, someday, YouTubers.